Hey, all you Revit designers out there. My name is Brenton. I'm from RevitFamily.biz, and I'm here today to show you a very quick tour of what I think are the best set of families or window families for Revit, period. They are crazy parametric. You get a huge variety of window families, uh, almost anything you could ever imagine. And they're all in one place. You don't have to go searching for them across the internet. And when you put them in your drawings, you can show them to clients and they function well. And it saves a ton of headache and it definitely saves a ton of time. So let me just show you what those are. Uh, what you're seeing right now is the first set. So there's three different styles. And in each style, there's 26 different families. So what we're looking at now are the colonial style. And each style, uh, not only the mullions are, they fit the style and then the trim that is embedded inside the family, the trim options, those also complement the mullion style. So this is colonial. There is also a uh, prairie style, which is what you're seeing here. And then in addition to that, there's a craftsman style. So each set of these families come, like I said, with complementary trim, and they come with all of the windows you see here and all of the windows you see here. So let's go over that really quickly. The bottom row here, these are all the fixed windows. So you get a skylight, a semicircle, a round, an oval, an arched, and then your standard rectangular, all fixed windows. Then up here you have operable windows. Um, so this is an awning, double hung, slider, double casement, casement, uh, folding from one side and folding from two sides. Then when we look in floor plan, let's just jump to that. You can see they also look good in floor plan. All of these operable windows are showing their operation as you would expect. And then same thing in elevation. Here you can see all of the operable windows. If we move over to this other set, there's 13 families here. Um, so here there were 13 families, and then the other 13 in, of the 26 that you get are these window groups. So uh, what typically happens is you have to place all of these separately to get a group of windows like this, not with this set of families. Um, you have probably 90% of the options you would need for grouped windows. So on the bottom row, these are all of your grouped windows where it's just you know no transom up above. Then on the second row, you get the group of windows plus uh, transoms up above those windows, each window. Then up here, you get your grouped windows, but one single transom that spans all of the group. So this saves a ton of time placing trim and all the different windows. So for example, like this one that's got five windows and five transoms, you don't have to place all 10 windows and you don't have to try to trim them all at once. The other cool thing it does is you can schedule these and tag this whole group as one window. Or you can do it like you normally would. You, can, you also have the option of tagging each individual window and you can still schedule each window individually. But you can do it as one group as well if you would like on your schedules. In addition to all of these different window types, there's a crazy amount of parameters that are available. You can change uh, the trim on the exterior differently from the interior. You can control all the materials separately. The amount of mullions that you see, uh, horizontal and vertical, you can control that. Um, <clears throat> let's just change uh, a trim package just to give you a demonstration really quickly. So on this one, we're going to set the exterior trim to be more colonial and on the interior we'll set it to be maybe flutes and rosettes. So we're going to click OK and oops, let me give it just a minute and now you can see on the exterior we have more of a traditional colonial trim package and then on the interior we have flutes and rosettes. Uh, let me turn off thick lines so that you can see more clearly what's going on. And then, of course, you can change the width and height just like you would any other normal window. 
All right, guys, like I said, you can get these at revitfamily.biz. Hands down, they will save you time. They are definitely worth the money. Please check them out. If you have any comments or questions, please post them, and we are happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy modeling. Thank you.